Hello and welcome all to what I'm sure Hello is going to be an unmissable game. Match. Here's the key information. You're we have a side looking to make it into the exclusive knockout stage of the competition. A victory does it, but anything less than that could lead to and all sorts of complications. Everybody is ready to go once we have the formalities out of the way. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. The crowd rises for the national anthem of Portugal. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. Portugal are a team on a mission. Number three. Maximum points, and they're on to bigger and better things. Number well, two. Peter, there's good pressure and Give bad, but this leans very much to Number the former, four. and a big chance to Number take two. everything on a level. These players have to embrace and, and tackle the Could task ahead with the courage then. and confidence they've grown for a time like this. I expect them to, to swim and not sink, and they won't need a, a rubber ring here either. we're underway so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture Bruno Fernandes has impressed me a lot I mean a few years ago he was the highest scoring midfielder in Europe with 33 goals in all comps and we aren't even talking about his assists his record of direct goal involvement is quite for and he's had a hit goal Portugal Well, it's no wonder he commands so much respect in the game because whenever there seems to be a bigger demand on his talents, he finds what's needed to make his mark. And I think his reputation has just been further enhanced. The goal scorer for Portugal. And he stuck it away as if laser guided. Well, you know, sometimes it pays Number off not to think too much about things, just put your Bruno foot through Fernandes. it. And that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Portugal take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. Well, look, you've got to start your qualification process at some stage, Peter, and, and that goal is takeoff for them. Pepe did just about enough to come out on top there. Neither party overly willing to compromise. Bernardo Silva. Pelistri. Now it's De Arasqueta. Now there's a... And the shot!
Aquadim gets over and intercepts. Could try cutting inside here. He's found the way through. Well, the defence proved infallible then. But that won't be the last they'll see of him. Ottavio. Oliveira with the slide tackle there. You have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Gets away from Cristiano Ronaldo! It's in! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Yeah, I'd call that transition with bite. They won it back and, and bit hard. The goal score for Portugal after 18 minutes is number seven, Cristiano Ronaldo. Portugal grab a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Now the finish! And it's there! Hot knife through butter, they have done it again! Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. The goal score for Portugal after 19 minutes is number 23. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Archbishop has a go! That was easy, almost too easy. It's a simple game, the striker's job is to find the space as often as possible, and he did exactly that. The goal score for Uruguay, after 23 minutes, is number nine, Luis Suarez. So, just a consolation, or is there a way back from here? And it's Bernardo Silva. Valverde. Pepe makes the interception. Oliveira cuts out the pass. Fiddles it through. Cavani. Bernardo Silva. Chance to break. Driving forward. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Well timed, excellent interception. Now it's Luis Suarez, a real chance to break. Luis Suarez, Portugal needed that, they really needed it. Well, I thought they got off lightly there, the odds were stacked against them. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! He's in space and looking for options. Keeper's dealt with that. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. 
Gets good distance on it. Right, it's a poor pass, too easily intercepted. Ruben Diaz is the guilty party there. And they're not going to make any further progress now. The keeper's done ever so well. Suarez sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. to meet it it's come back out oh taken with style sharpness swiftness opportunism a poacher's finish oh peter you can't teach that you either have it or you don't his anticipation is on another level to everyone else's super football for uruguay after 38 minutes is Number nine, Luis Suarez. This is threatening to become a really good game. Listen, goals change games, and that has changed the whole complexion of this one. They have the momentum now. Played out to the left flank. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. Played with finesse. And he's gone looking for safety. Octavio. Bruno, Bruno Fernandes! It's off target and by quite a way. Defence has got rid of that. Two added minutes has been pass indicated. away. Spread neatly. Now it's Cavani. João Cancelo. And they can counter here. Looking for the runner. He is through here. Chance! And that has fair fizzed. And there is the half-time whistle. It is quite a game, breathless and laced with excitement. Portugal hold a skinny lead after a thrilling half. Bring on the second so half. That was the first it's 3-2. We believe the boys can turn it around. Of course they will. Everyone, please welcome our players. Substitution. We're into the last 45 minutes in this game of substantial significance. Now it's Ottavio. And the shot! Oh, great save, real class. He's definitely living up to the occasion here. He just loves being out there amongst it. Little doubt who they'll be aiming at here. Well, he is someone you can count on to get his head to it, one way or another, Peter. Uruguay can start a counter here. Now it's De Arasqueta. Nice try, but he wasn't buying it.
Oh, that's frustrating. The pass just wasn't good enough. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Plenty of room for the shot. Big chance! Pelistri. Valverde. Araujo. And it's Godin. For Valverde. Uh, that's been intercepted. It's a pretty loose pass. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, it's an interesting move, this, Peter. It just Sometimes gives opposition defences a very different challenge. There's much frustration as to the lack of a touch to finish that off. Nice bit of skill, and he's away. He's shifting through the gears here. Has a shot! Decent enough try. Cristiano Ronaldo just can't be faulted for taking on the opportunity. That sort of distance is, is usually up his street. The attendance Good spot, the he's seen the run. Oliveira cuts it out. And it's Andre Silva. Oliveira gets across to intercept that. Oh, there's the clearance. Well, it didn't look good for a while, but that was brave defending, and they got away with it. Yeah, they, they showed a vulnerability until the move was stifled. That'll have stirred a little concern. It's Cavani! Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. Substitution for Uruguay, number eight. Coming on to replace him is number seven. So there's going to be another change here. Yeah, they're looking for some imagination, and his job's going to be to add that element of craft and guile. The man pulling the strings. Jimenez. Oh, he's going to be disappointed with that. Fiddles it through, and he welcomes it in. Shots on here. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Portugal, corner number two then. And that has been cleared. Uruguay can counter properly here. No, he's not getting his way this time. And the shot! Now, surely this time it's loose and there's a race for the ball. Poor pass that, sloppy. It's a throw-in. Uruguay making consecutive changes here. Substitution for Uruguay. Number 16. Number 10. Jose and he's managed to get rid. 
coming on the field. Number 17. We'll see. He's had a fair tumble Number under that 26. challenge. And that's not going to reach. Schlau Felix. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Aimed in towards, climbs up big! He should have put that one away. Cristiano Ronaldo really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. Loose pass, and they could be in. Caught offside that time. They may end up with some regret with this tactic, but you have to admire their commitment to goals. It's come through, and he's had a quick look inside. He is through here. Can he put it away? Looks like he's been given offside again here. Yes, he has. Well, this lead is tight, but it does look as though it may see them through. Portugal have their place in the knockout stage all but secure. We'll see. He's in plenty of space here. He's got away. It's run loose here. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Well read, nice interception. Out to the right. Schwab Felix! He scored! And surely now the results beyond doubt. Portugal clearly executed that with considerable confidence. It only took seconds to score once the ball was recovered. The goal score for Portugal after 86 minutes is number 24, João Felix. Two up and very little time left, surely this is it. Well, I think if they're going to have any hope from here, they'll need to see their more experienced lads step up to the plate now. Rossi really added the width there, thanks to his willingness to make the run. Oh, he's been flattened there. Goes down, but nothing given. Four back has been indicated. Again. Whistle's gone, and the referee has given a penalty. Portugal really could have done without this. A lot of furious gesticulation, but it is never going to make the referee overturn a decision. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. And that's one back! Not a twitch, not a blink. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's gone to the other side. The goal score for Uruguay after 90 minutes is number 21, Edinson Cavani. Uruguay give themselves a chance of a fairy tale finish.
And that's been won straight back. Valverde gets it back. Rossi. Lovely ball into space. Oh, what a pass! Good challenge, excellent challenge. And that's it. Portugal have booked their berth in the knockout stage. What a prospect for them. A job really well done so far. Cristiano Ronaldo claiming the man of the match award. And there is very little room for argument. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Early qualification is always a good bonus. They've shown resilience and strength and have all the essentials to go on a lengthy this cup run. It's all looking take, pretty good for but them. But we'll be back stronger, won't we?